What's going on, NC fam? Man, we are back at it again with another banger. Yes, sir, man. Today we got the rudest K-pop idols according to reports and staff. Let's get into it, man. Even though many K-pop idols are known for being nice and sweet towards their fans and staff, some have developed a bad reputation for being rude and difficult to work with. The, people, the, the girls' the day, members honestly, are kind of notorious for being They're impolite. The they faced there, backlash oh. for the rude Shoot. way that they acted when they appeared on Africa TV's Coon TV uh, in 2015 cool. after their appearance <laughs> on the Run that back! Oh. <laughs> Run that back! <laughs> nigga, nigga said Africa TV. We don't understand where our reaction is coming from, bro. <laughs> if you've done this, probably, you know, so you ain't tapped in. <laughs> Even Hold though many K-pop idols are known for being nice and sweet towards shit, bro. their fans and look. staff, some have developed a bad host. reputation for being rude and difficult to work with. The girls' day members are kind of notorious for being impolite. They faced backlash for the rude way that they acted when they appeared on Africa TV's Coon TV in 2015. Cool. Oh. After their appearance, online community... Oh, change that name! Change that name! <laughs> Stupid, Too bro. much correlation, bro. <laughs> Africa <laughs> TV, <laughs> Coon <laughs> TV... Yo, bro. Bro, Jenny, bro. Please. That, that name, please. I, we don't need to explain Nikki's why, bro. These niggas should already know why. Trey Goon, the host of the show, Boy, really Goon. badly. There was even a debate about Jay's a dumpling conflict yeah, today Goon with Teddy and bro. Sol Jean, where oh, they used informal Korean? speech towards yeah, the viewers. During probably the show, when Tway Goon placed some dumplings on the table in front of the girls, Sol Jean moved them under the table and said, we don't eat dumplings. The two continued their teasing conversation about the dumplings for a few more seconds. Then the host said that he paid for the dumplings and encouraged the members to enjoy them or he would eat them himself. Sol Jean finally put the dumplings on the table, but made a comment that the dumplings were free and the host didn't pay for them. Later, Soljin removed the wrapping to feed the host a dumpling, but she showed disgust and laughed when his lips touched her chopsticks. After finishing their meal, Twaegun tried to discuss their latest album, but Hedy questioned why they should talk about it. Then he can be seen mentioning the group's past struggles and asks who they're grateful for, but the members remain silent except for the sounds of their eating. Later, Twaegun <laughs> tries to imitate a police officer, but the members basically ignore him to focus more on eating. Before that, that controversy in 2014, Hedy Hedy got into dude, another go controversy interview. for her supposedly yeah. rude behavior. At the Melon tour. Music Awards, Hedy was caught making fun of Beast member Dong Un's speech after the group had received an award. Dong Un thanked <laughs> the fans for voting for them and promised to become widely known singers. While the camera was on Hedy, she was seen mimicking Dong Un's gestures and repeating his words mockingly, <laughs> we will do our best this to just, become widely known fun. singers, on, while laughing and joking around with her members. I... She had to apologize, but her apology was seen as insincere and it even seemed like she was making fun of the situation, so she deleted the apology post. Even though she has long grown out of it, soloist and queen of the first generation of K-pop Ihyori was once accused of having celebrity disease in the past. Uh -huh. Dona Ilbo reported that when she what was promoting her song that? 10 Minutes in 2003, she showed up to a press conference 30 minutes late. When she appeared on Healing Camp, she this said that she wouldn't shit. even greet or apologize to the staff members, okay. so 30 to 40 reporters who were present at the event shut off their cameras to protest her bad behavior. She knows better uh -huh. now, but back then, Ihyori started blaming others for her shortcomings, going as far as to think, I'm E. Hyori, why should I apologize? Uh, Thankfully, E. Hyori doesn't behave like that. Like that. Like that. Good, Unlike Hyori, Boys 24's E. Hwa Young's bad behavior wasn't exactly exposed but by any reporters, behavior, staff, really? or even himself, <laughs> but by a leaked <laughs> audio message of him making extremely offensive comments about his fans. Back in 2017, mm. a netizen claiming to be an ex-girlfriend of Hwa Young posted a voice recording of him talking badly about his fans. Damn. The audio message spread like wildfire on the internet. He can be heard saying that he hates being called Oba by fans and goes on to say, it sucks at high touch sessions, you know, at those events where we hold our fans' hands and greet them. We have to greet 700 or 800 people and it makes me want to throw oh, up. He, he, he. Seriously, their breath smells horrible. <laughs> the group's agency, CJ, E&M, no, and My Works Company that? uploaded an official statement that saying too. that Ma Young would not appear at one of the group's concerts as he had disappointed fans. If Damn. you ask some K-pop fans, Red Velvet's no Irene is the first idol to come to mind Irene. whenever rude behavior comes up as she had a pretty big scandal in 2020 when she was called out by a stylist for being incredibly rude to her. In October of 2020, a veteran Marina fashion Lowe. editor and stylist, Kan Kukwa, made a post on her Instagram account sharing her experience working with Irene. She called Irene inhumane, accusing her of lacking There's character. Also cloud the chasing, stylist said gotta that she had that. received warnings about working with her, but still remained speechless when Irene lashed out on her. Kukwa said, I thought I had let everything go after meeting all kinds of people throughout my 15 years in this industry, but I was wrong. According to the stylist, Irene didn't greet the staff and sat oh. in her chair 
hair. I'm a little her monster. Phone, and she threw a fit to the point that the stylist I mean, cried. Uh, she also went to talk to Irene in person so she could receive an honest apology, know. but Irene had disappeared. However, she voice recorded everything just <clears throat> in case and promised to take action. <clears throat> Even though the stylist didn't name anyone in particular, the post caption concluded with the hashtag psycho and monster, which corresponded <laughs> to the titles of songs that Irene had worked yeah, on that yeah, year, like causing psycho, online users to speculate psycho, that she was the individual uh, described in the post. To make matters worse, several notable fashion editors, photographers, models, and former stylists had liked the post. Furthermore, an individual claiming to be an industry insider expressed their support of the editor in the comment section. After the incident, Irene issued an apology on Instagram, and SM Entertainment also issued a statement confirming ah. that she had met with the editor to apologize. Damn, According to News One Korea, SM the editor eventually requested that online users stop speculating and stated that the matter had been resolved through a mutual exchange of apologies. Irene withdrew from public appearances for a while following the controversy, mm. but later made a comeback stronger than before and has Hell not been yeah. involved in any similar scandal since then. Zex Key's member Kang Sung Hoon was w, called I out mean, for bro. being rude as he was state. caught talking to fans about how idols nowadays are ugly and have dirty skin. Mm. A video with the title Absurd Remark 1, which was posted ways, in 2019, yeah. spread around pretty quickly as it captured Song Hoon insulting the appearances of idols. Song Hoon is seen sitting down with fans casually and having a conversation, in which he can be heard wishing he was taller. Fans told him that he was fine just the way he was, which prompted Sung Hoon to go on a rant about how idols look nowadays. He says, When I see them at shops, they are friggin' ugly. Why is that? They are friggin' ugly. Friggin'. Their skin is dirty too. Why are they so ugly? Then fans asked him to name specific idols, and Sung Hoon said that there hasn't been a single good-looking idol since Dolbang Shingi. Then he goes on to say that the B2B members were definitely ugly, and that when he comes to produce his <laughs> idols, he would choose them based on their looks. He said, Don't you think they should be quite dog. handsome given that they're celebrities? He's with good like skin, with some aura, no? In addition, <laughs> Sung Hoon has been so. criticized for making derogatory remarks about the general well, he, public. He just, in a live he, broadcast he, in 2018 oh, while walking well, outside, he made a comment to a passing fruit truck saying, don't misunderstand, this is Chong Dong Dong. Wow. This isn't some street market or something. Chong Dong Dong is one of the richest neighborhoods in Seoul. So Sung Hoon was implying that street markets are inferior to Chong Dong Dong and it belittled the worth and importance of people who work in street markets or frequent them as customers. This about? condescending remark received widespread criticism that even SBS News reported on the incident. Despite disbanding in 2000, Zexkis managed to reunite in 2016, but because of Song Hoon's ongoing involvement in multiple controversies, he left the group in 2019. Rapper Dean Dean has confessed to having caught the celebrity disease and becoming incredibly rude after he appeared on the popular Korean yeah, rap rapper, competition well. show, Show Me the Money. On Pak Myung Soo's yeah, radio show, he shared that he became arrogant and stopped showing basic manners like bowing his head to his seniors, except yeah, for when he was washing his own face. Like, he also developed it, a man. belief that celebrities shouldn't answer calls, and as I'm a result, sure, refused sure. to pick up calls from his own parents because the fame had gotten to his head. <laughs> Thankfully, he had people who cared about him and were ready to oh, call him out. So, man. after six months of acting like a diva, his older brother scolded him and brought him back to his senses. Take this information <laughs> with a grain brother. of salt, but it is also rumored that the boys' members, except for Julian, are very rude to their staff. It's just rumors, <laughs> but Julian. here's what we know. According to reports, a Twitter account allegedly belonging to a staff member of the boys made a critical post about the members. The post stated, I can see why Juyeon is the most popular member of the boys. One of the reasons is undoubtedly his looks. He seemed comparatively pleasant during their first photo shoot while other members were impolite. The post went on to explain that Juyeon has always been kind and gentle and compared to other members. They went on to say that he comprehends directions faster and doesn't display any signs of annoyance or exhaustion, unlike his fellow members. Netizens no, were I quick mean, to believe the accusation of commenting. Fuck, the staff bro. swears at the whole team Maybe except I done, for like, one 20 member. More shoes, I wonder bro. how it rude they are. And day. I can feel the staff's anger through the post. On another separate occasion, the members were criticized about how they were treating a female staff member. On July 6th, a YouTube oh, channel shit. posted a video titled, Idol Accused of Mistreating Female Employee at Luxury Department Store. The video contains several photos reportedly taken at a department store depicting group members shopping with an agency staff member. The video okay. claims that the boys member New was wearing a backpack in front of a luxury store and the staff member was seen carrying the bag later. In other photos, the staff member can be seen carrying shopping bags for the other members. The YouTuber claims that the photos to? were taken right, at a foreign she, she department might, store and suggests that such behavior would not be tolerated at a Korean department store. Really? But none of these claims against the boys were ever confirmed or addressed, right. so it's <clears throat> difficult to take them seriously. Tell us your thoughts in the comments, and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Uh, Bye! She didn't really, she didn't really have no con like hard concrete evidence for some of them claims that she was saying, so that's what's in me, you know what I'm saying? What's you're right.
take with a grain of salt. What you say? Well, go ahead, go ahead. I was just gonna say, bro. Like when, when it comes to, like stuff like these, bro, don't put all your energy out there and shit. Like you don't gotta be like going to comment section down. Like, oh yeah, this this is that that is that that. Like no, bro. Like it's, you said, she said. Yeah, don't. don't yeah, you don't. That, you don't know the whole story. So like, there's no. Don't waste your breath on shit like this. You might feel some type of way, but like it is what it is. Bro. It's, you know, we could definitely speculate who's rude and who's not. I mean, I get that we're all human beings. We have our horrible moments, but like just. We really strive to be good people at the end of the day. We don't know them people. They could be rude as hell or they could not be. We just don't know them like that. Damn we right. don't be on Weverse like that. We don't be on none of them apps to really see them. Hell no. And that's just that on that. NSP fam, take care of yourselves. Don't be like the ones that are confirmed. Yeah. Take care of, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the people around you and we'll catch you on the next one.